Hello, you are most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the Computer Guy, and in this video, we are going to be learning how to upload coursework marks to UNEB. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the real practice and see how we can work this out. So first of all, what you're going to consider is make sure that your computer is connected to the internet. And when we come and check here onto our computer, it is showing us that we are already connected to the internet. Another thing you're going to need is a web browser, because remember, we are going to be logging into the UNEB e-registration platform or portal, so we need a browser. And for my case, I'm going to be using Google Chrome, and I've already uh, pinned it onto my taskbar. I'm just going to click on it, then I'll open it. And having opened it, I'm going to be typing in my URL, for example, UNEB e-registration. Let me come and type it there. So you neighbor e registration and we are going to be selecting this option that says you neighbor e registration and having selected it it will take you to another page that has this content and we are going to be specifically using the first link that says you neighbor e registration and we want to log into our platform so that means that we are going to be selecting this option then it will take us to another page where we can log into that system for example, they will ask you to click onto the login button and having logged in, it will take you to another section that asks you for the school credentials. For example, it will ask you for the username and the password. And remember, the username is going to be the center number. So for my case, I'm going to be using the center number for Equator College School Nalukolong, which is U1405. Then they are going to ask me for the password. I'll also put it there, for example, just like that. And having put the password, I'm going to be selecting the option that says login. And after clicking this option, they will take me to another section, for example, my dashboard. So this is the system. It has already been opened and we have some information here. For example, we have the dashboard, the upload data, we have the invoices, we have the flagged candidates, announcements and resources, UCE results, UACE results, and lastly, we have the support. But remember, our main interest is going to be on uploading coursework marks. So we have to look for that option. So when I come down here, I see the option for upload coursework marks. This is the one I'm going to be selecting. And having selected it, they are going to take me to another section or another page that has this information, for example, uh, and they're telling us to note some, some things here. For example, before you upload, uh, please verify the following. And number one, they are telling us to download the candidates list here. That means that we are just going to download a sheet. We record the marks there. Then later, we use this other form to upload the sheet again. So that means that if you had registered your candidates, they are going to be automatically generated from the system. Then you'll be able to put in their marks. Then you can as well be able to upload the sheet to the system again. So number two, they are telling us that provide all the details against each candidate as required. Number three, they want you to verify the information before uploading it that means that you have to peruse through before uploading the information make sure that it is all correct then number four provide marks for each candidate under each level if you're dealing with uce you're going to put in senior three term two term three senior four term one then term what term two if you have uace then you're going to be putting the same as this down here then number seven they're telling us that Use the form on the left to upload the completed Excel sheet. That means that after uh, downloading this section, we are going to be going to the download section. We put in the marks into that sheet. Then afterwards, we have to upload it again to the portal. Then number eight is telling us that uh, uh, only candidates already registered for a particular paper will have their continuous assessment marks recorded. That means that if you had not registered that learner, then they will not be able to be entered into the system. Number nine, if you want to add a new candidate for the subject, follow the procedure for amendments. And that means that this one will have to be charged. So you have to make sure that you're going to be paying for that learner you're going to add. 
So that is it that we had to read through. So what we are going to do is to download the sheet by clicking onto this option that says download candidates list here. And when we download it, we are going to go to the download section and open it and see what is in there. Let me click on it. And having clicked on it, we are going to go to the download section and have it there. Let me minimize my browser. And having minimized the browser, we are going to come and open my computer by right clicking onto it click on the option that says open and having clicked open we are going to be coming to the section that says downloads and when you click on the downloads it will have this sheet downloaded for you so we are going to be uh, copying this sheet and paste it onto our desktop then we can fill in the uh, max then later we can upload it back to our portal. Let me come and uh, copy this one by pressing ctrl c for copying or right click then come to more options then come and say copy and come to the desktop then you can be able to pay to paste it there by right clicking onto your mouse then come to more options then come and select paste it is now here so that means that we have to open this sheet then we fill in the marks for their learners respectively let me double click onto this sheet and having double clicked on it you give it some time to load and this is how it will display for you it will depend on the number of learners that you registered for your paper so we have the exam year we have the center number the candidate's name we have the index number the subject code then we have the paper code then we have the uh, let's say senior for term one senior for term two we have down here paper three senior for term one term two then we have paper two again so you're going to be filling the whole of these three papers remember we have paper one here we are not going to be filling in this paper because it will be done as a theory paper so we are just going to only choose paper two paper three and paper five we fill in the coursework marks then later we upload our sheet to the portal again so what i'm going to do is to pause this video and fill in all the uh, results for these learners then we can upload it later such that we do not make the video too long finally we have uh, entered the results into all these three papers for example this is paper five we have filled in the marks then we have paper three we've uh, we have also filled in the marks then we finally have paper two we have also filled in the marks so i've left paper one empty that means that it will be done as a, a theory paper so we have filled all our papers paper two paper three and lastly paper five so that means that we are going to be saving this information and after saving this information we are going to be uploading it to our portal so let me close it and we go back to our browser and when we come back to our browser here we have this section they told us that we are going to be using this to upload the coursework for example, first of all, you can give it a name. For example, I'm going to be uploading coursework for 2022. I can call it coursework. It said 2022. Then down here, they're telling us to uh, a file upload. We have to choose the file. Remember, we have put it onto our desktop. So we have to select that, uh, that location. So I'm going to come and select choose file. And having clicked there, I'm going to come and select my desktop. Then I move through or scroll through and look for that file. For example, it is UNEB Coursework 2022 U1405. I'll select it. And having selected it, I'm going to be clicking on the option that says open. And after opening, they are telling me down here that UNEB Coursework 2022 has been put here. So the last option you have to click on is upload file you make sure that your internet is fast and they will show you up here a message whether any modification has been effected to the system so for my case i'm not going to upload it because i already uploaded the coursework marks for my learners so it's been henry the computer guy and if i told you new to my channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button bye bye i sign out